In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer an animation from one character to the other. Often, when you're animating a scene or a sequence, you might require a walk cycle several times. That does not mean that you will animate the walk cycle every time. So, here is a method that you can apply during transferring the animation, which is very simple and easy. Before starting the method, I'll just give you a few information. First of all, the character that I'm using is a free character. It's called Andy, and it has a male and female version. But this one particularly they have taken from Creative Crash. Uh, you can download it free. All you have to do it is just log in into that website, and then you can download it. Now the next thing before we start the method, we have to be sure that the anime import and export plugin is on. This plugin does not need any pre-installation. It comes in built with Maya. So for that, you need to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and then go for Plugin Manager. Here you will see anime import and export, and then loaded it, and then check on auto load as well, and then close it. So now you need to select the master controller, the main controller, and then press up arrow for several times until the whole character is selected. Now go to file and then go to export selection and export selections option box. Over here, the file type will be anim export. The precise one will be float and the hierarchy will be below. For time range, you can use either of one, all or start and end. For all, whatever is there on your timeline will be directly exported. And for start and end frame, you can actually export from frame 1 to 12 or any number of frames that you want. In this case, I don't require anything else, so I'll just keep it as all and then export selection. Now you'll be given an option, Let's save it. So, whatever name you want, I'll just give it as walk and I'll export selection. So, that's done. Now you have to open the character that you're going to import your animation into. So, this is my character. You might have noticed that it has kind of a Similar rig. Well, while you're doing a production, the characters are rigged and modeled mostly by the same uh, company or the same people. So their structure and the rig might be same. So in that case, you can uh, import it on different characters as well. It can work on characters that does not have identical rigs, but the only problem is that sometimes it does not get all the information that is needed like it might have problem with the arms or the head or the legs any part of the body might have the problem or if you're lucky it just might work so now you have to select the main controller again and do the same process just click up arrow on your keyboard until unless the whole character is selected and then go to file and then again import option box so again, the file type will be anim import, and then time range will be clipboard. It goes same with the export option, like if you want it from the start, like zero or whatever is your start frame. If you want it from the start, you, it'll start it, and then the other option is for start and end is like you'll get your desired number of frames, and current is whatever is there presently on your on your timeline, like. If you squeeze it to 16, so it'll just come, the animation will be imported just till 16 frames. And clipboard is, is whatever the, your whole timeline is, like whatever is entered over here, from here to here. So next, the paste method has three options, insert, replace, or merge. Insert is where you haven't started it in the animation and your whole timeline is blank. Wherever you want to, you just insert it. And then from 
for replace is that sometimes you want some of the frames to be replaced and you just don't want that animation so you can replace it and merge works really well like suppose you have already animated a scene and then you want a work cycle in that suppose you have animated an acting scene and then the character is just leaving the scene by walking out of the scene so in that case you can just apply merge and then you can just give the number of frames that you want it to, like 15 to 24 or whatever you like but in this case i i don't have any action so i'll just keep it insert and then import so now select your walk anim whatever file you named and then import let's see yes it has done i don't know my timeline is playing really slow sometimes so just bear with that so you can see it has been imported very nicely hope you find this video useful thank you for watching to learn more about animation, watch our other videos.